And what would you be doing for humanity at age 51 beside your regular job? Think about it. Well, a truck pusher in Accra's most popular food stuff hub, uh, Agbobulushi, on, on mega earnings, is feeding at least 10 children and some adults with a fufu meal every day. He says it's a divine call he cannot ignore. Joni Siskomla Adom caught up with 51-year-old Yabua on a wet, rainy Friday at Agbobulushi and reports that even though he has to pound the fufu on his rickety truck when it rains, he is not deterred. About six hours of rain, which lasted overnight, left across most popular foodstuff hub at Bugbulushi inhabitable. Commuters had a really tough time negotiating the mud stained market. But they were not the only ones affected. At this part of the market called Inzima Station, a 51 year old truck pusher, Yebwa, was up high on his four wheeled truck. This time, not loading or offloading it, but pounding fufu to feed some underprivileged children and adults. <laughs> Anybody who saw this was out, just as I was. Food is halfway ready. His neighbors tell me Yabwa does this every day before he leaves for work. Today, the fufu meal had palm soup to go with it, some snails, salmon, and perhaps anything you'd like to see in a typical Ghanaian soup, especially if you live close to a market. <laughs> Yebwa stammers, and so he struggles his way through telling me how much feeding these children cost him. Not less than 50 cities daily. I share the food among the underprivileged children here. I cannot see them go hungry. I find joy when these children do not go hungry. Okay. Okay. He's been at this for two years. Today's meal appears somewhat special. It will feed at least 15 children. I have in the soup snails, salmon, chicken, herrings, and the like with a spice of dawa dawa. Mm. Yebwa okay. moved from Tema Station to this place to continue his business as a porter, work which earns him about 80 CDs or more daily. His three children and wife live far away at Bojiase, and for the better part of 10 years, he's been here in the capital, striving to make a living. But the travails of city life will not deter him from doing good. Okay, me to me, ten Yes, I'll be all right to them. Yes. I am satisfied if I feed even ten children and I spend between fifty and sixty CDs. If I do, eh, the atlas. The team but myself, I want to do the fifty Ghana CD, fifty Ghana CD. And myself, I know that, but this money, but I go feel spend it to them. But the people want to chop, but everything, but uh, it will be all right. Residents here appreciate him for the gesture. They believe he could feed a lot more underprivileged children here if he earns more money. Mercy has seen him do this for nearly two years. He has a good heart. He tells me the gesture is a divine call. We hope others will emulate. As I say, Monso Moshe and Penifonia said, Be warm on Semuno, or Mutimusha, no more boa, young, yeni pino. Sani wishes he could support Yeboa every day, but his finances would not permit him. He prays for blessings for Yeboa so he could extend his benevolence to many other children here. And he has been cooking day and night, even spraying the food to the children, over 15 children, 
outside people we don't know. We see him holding food to supply outside. Okay. And the morning, plenty of the children too. And Yabo, he has been done in it over three years over. All the children are the same. They are around here. So Yabo is a hundred percent. What Yabo is doing is a very nice, good to as a good a citizen Ghanaian. Uh, it's a citizen Ghanaian, and the supply is supplying to the children. We have foreigners inside, but he don't do it. He don't select. He just separate anyone, whether you are white, whether you are red or green or black. Before long, food was ready, and Yeboah would go and supply his longtime friend Ampong with a bowl full. From here, he would walk almost 300 meters, meander through the stalls and shops to deliver the food to this guy, whom he says has been his backbone since he came to the city. Here, a quick silent prayer is all that's required. One good turn, sure deserves it, and Yeboah is walking yeah, be, that Papa. gesture. Oh, sounds like, okay, about three days ago, we bring me some, then next day, other, if you check around about three days, they, every day, you blame me the food. Okay. Um, uh, what you go tell him? As he take the food, come give you, you the chop, what you go tell him? Uh, thank him. Okay. Every day, God bless him. Okay. All the day is for life. Okay. From here, he would go back and prepare to feed the children with what's left. Heartwarming gesture despite the obvious challenges. Yeboah's kindness is inspiring hope in many children here at Agbogloshi. It appears those hopes will remain alive as long as Yeboah has food to give. Komla Adum, Joy News, Agbogloshi, Accra. Fufu on Wheels is how Yeboah is helping children and reaching out to children and helping them stay alive. Well, that is the story in Ghana.